Hi everyone and welcome back to another marathon video. Today I am so excited. I am sharing a lots of stuff in today's marathon. I will share some tips on how to make a few different types of wreaths and I will have a little bit of cleaning motivation which some of you have desperately asked for. I will share some really fun tips on decorating your home giving it that French country style. And I also have a haul in here and some craft ideas. So let's go ahead and get right into today's video. I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And let's just go ahead and get started. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Monica. And in today's video, I am going to be Cleaning up my kitchen, I'm going to be taking some of the decor down and adding a little bit of a fresh new look in here. So I hope that you all enjoy today's video. I hope it gives you some cleaning motivation as well as some decorating inspiration. So let's get right into it. I can take it anymore. Why can't you let me know? Okay, so before I head on into the kitchen and start doing some cleaning up in there, I wanted to share these adorable glass bottles that I purchased off of Etsy just recently. I got one for my fabric softener and one for my laundry detergent, and they are so gorgeous. I have tried using the really pretty containers that are usually meant for like drinks that you buy like in the store, and they never work. They always get like clogged up, and I ended up I end up just throwing them out and not going with those anymore but these are amazing I absolutely love these they have these pumps on them that work absolutely great actually too great so you got to be careful <laughs> when you are pumping the liquid out because it does come out pretty quickly but um, I think these look so pretty in here I love putting some of my normal everyday products in prettier containers. I just think it looks prettier when you have them sitting out on your countertops and all that. So I'm just gonna add like a Lazy Susan on top of my washer and then add my softener and my laundry detergent um, containers up here along with some scent beads that I have in a glass jar. Okay, so I had this bright idea to use these measuring cups for the containers when I dispensed the softener and the detergent, but they didn't work out too well and I'm not going to fuss with it too much. So I ended up just using the original containers, like the caps that those two items came with and it works out better and I just kind of hid those away behind the Lazy Susan. Okay, so now that I have a load of laundry going, I am going to head on into the kitchen and I am going to put a load of dishes away. There are clean dishes in the dishwasher, so I'm gonna get those put away very quickly and then I'm gonna start cleaning up around here. I have some stuff to put away on the countertops and then I'm going to completely clear off the countertops and get them wiped down and nice and clean. And I will be taking down a lot of my farmhouse type decor. I had talked about this over on my Instagram and I am just really over the farmhouse look. I love certain items that are somewhat farmhouse. But like I want to get rid of like the signs, like the black and white signs and um, that kind of stuff. I am just really over the farmhouse look. So I want to get rid of that look altogether and um, so 
that's what I am going to be doing today. I just really want to declutter in here and make everything look really fresh and really clean. And my kitchen is extremely small. My entire house is very small. So I feel like the less I have in each room, the better it looks to the eye just because it is a small space. So I really want to achieve that type of a look. I want to use a lot of neutral colors and less items. So that's what I will be doing today. I did have some of my Easter decor still up, so I'm going to go ahead and take all of that down and put that away as well. And I did have some in my formal dining room. I had my table setting still laid out, so I'm going to go in there really quickly and then take all that down and put that away as well. What it's like to be seen through magazines, never feel have my countertops all cleared off I'm going to clean them and today I will be using the Caldrea all-purpose cleaner and this scent is called rose water driftwood and I am obsessed with it my dish soap is the same scent I just love it I also keep a linen spray up in my bedroom and I just love 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 this scent it smells so incredibly good if I can find a link for it, I will leave it down in my description box. Also, if there is any link that you are looking for, like if you see an item in my house and you want to know where I purchased it and you can't find the link in my description box, please ask in the comments and I will be more than happy to provide that link for you. But always check my description box first because I do try to leave a lot of links in there for you. I get a lot of questions about certain specific items more than others so i do like to keep those links in there all the time hey you say it is just you and i and everything is so thing is so so call me out call me out baby I'm bringing my bread box back out if you've been with me for a while I did purchase this quite some time ago and I had it stashed away because I had a farmhouse type bread box out on my countertops well I am getting rid of that one and I'm bringing this one back out I love it I feel like it has more of a vintage French country feel to it and I just love that copper look and I did find this at Home Goods and it was $19.99. I wanted to add a really natural look to the top of my refrigerator and I didn't want to add florals so I thought some stacked baskets and 
a vintage style mirror would look really pretty up here so that's what I did and I love how it turned out okay so I'm gonna bring out some of my really pretty china and I have collected some of these pieces throughout the years and I did have them put away in my cabinet upstairs and then I also had some stashed away in my china cabinet down here but I love these pieces and I think they're just so beautiful and I wanted to give that French country type feel in the kitchen and I thought displaying these beautiful teacups on my shelf would definitely do the trick so that's what I'm doing so call me up, baby. Together we can go crazy. I really wanted to free up some space here in the kitchen because it does get kind of cramped looking the more pieces I add in here. So I decided to take this wicker type shelf or corner shelf and move it into the other room and then I'm going to take my beautiful plant that I had in that uh, wicker shelf and I'm just going to place it here in my island and it looks absolutely perfect and I feel like it will do well over here. These patho plants are very hard to kill and I have not even seen this one wilt on me like ever. And I do know that it has gotten dry quite a few times, but this plant is definitely loving me right now. So I hope it's not too upset with the move. While I was at the regular grocery store, I also found these beautiful peach or coral colored roses and some beautiful coral colored or peach colored stock with some eucalyptus leaves. And I thought they would look so pretty here in the kitchen. And I'm just gonna quickly cut them up and put them in the vase. And you will see here in a second that I switched it out and recut them down because when I had made this arrangement, I didn't like how far the stems were sticking up. So I ended up taking it all apart and redoing it over again. But these flowers are just so incredibly beautiful. I can climb no mountains for you, my love. I can climb no mountains or swim in cold water.
now that I have my mess cleaned up from my arrangement, I am going to be uh, rinsing off these dishes and loading them up into the dishwasher. These were dishes that I had just had displayed out on that wicker type shelf that you had seen me move a few minutes ago. And I'm just going to place these in the dishwasher and get those nice and cleaned. And then I'm going to be cleaning out my sink and I will be using the soft scrub cleanser for that. This one has the bleach in it so it disinfects as well and I absolutely love using soft scrub bleach for my sink. You can also use Barkeeper's Friend and I do believe that Mrs. Myers has a soft scrub type cleanser as well that works really good and it has a really fresh scent to it. I can't remember what scent that is but I have used it in the past. But definitely Soft Scrub is my absolute favorite product to use on my sink. So once I get this table all cleared off and the items put away, I am just going to give it a really quick clean and I will be using the same product that I used on my countertops, which is the Caldrea countertop spray and it is in the rose water driftwood scent. And once I have that all finished, I'm going to be vacuuming my floors and I do use the Shark Lift Away Duo. And I do have that linked in my description box if you are interested. I love this vacuum. It works extremely well, in my opinion, better than the Dyson. Never underestimate the power of just a few very small changes to a room, just taking things away and decluttering can make a huge difference and I really feel that there is a difference in here even though I didn't do anything very drastic. I love the look that I am having in here. I think it looks beautiful and I love that stuff is put away and there isn't as much on my countertops it already makes my kitchen feel a little bit bigger i love the french look that i have with the teacups on my shelf and i just think it looks really pretty in here and i just absolutely love how everything looks so that is it for today's video i hope that you guys all enjoyed it i hope it gave you some cleaning motivation i hope it gave you some decorating ideas as well and if you did enjoy today's video please be sure to give me a thumbs up be sure to say hi down in the comments below. It really, really does help my channel and I appreciate it so incredibly much. If you are new here, please be sure to click that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. I hope that you guys all have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!
Hi everyone, I am so glad you are here to join me today for another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some more decorating. I am slowly taking out the winter decor and adding more of like a spring-like type look. So I'm going to share with you how I made this really pretty swag that I will hang above my stove. And I'm just sharing the items that I found at Hobby Lobby to make it. That little, um, I don't even know what that is called, but it's like a starter piece for a swag. I got that at Hobby Lobby. I got everything at Hobby Lobby and everything was 50% off except for that grapevine um, swag piece. Um, those, that bundle of really pretty hydrangeas was $25, 50% off. And then I got this, um, I think it's called, uh, Queen Anne's Lace, $7.99, 50% off of that. And then I got these beautiful green and pink ranunculas. I thought these were so pretty. And these were also 50% off and I believe they were $6.99 if I'm correct. Yes, $6.99. And then um, I'm going to be using some greenery that I had previously. I like to reuse my greenery so I don't have to keep buying more. So I just kind of picked this out of some um, greenery that I had in a bin and then I'm going to throw it all together. Okay, so here is all of the items all clipped up and taken apart, all ready to go. And I'm not going to be using any wire. I thought that I would use some floral wire, but I didn't have to use any. Um, but I also didn't want to use any um, glue because I like to take my stuff apart and reuse all the pieces. So I'm going to start with my greenery and what I'm going to do is just kind of wedge these in here nice and secure. Now that I have the greenery in place, I'm going to take my larger floral pieces and kind of set those in the middle and then I will fill in with those smaller floral pieces, trying to even everything out. I love how this turned out and I did have a few stems left over, so I was able to use those on a wreath that I'm going to show you here in just a few minutes. Any difference would it change for the better? If I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter. If you are new to my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by today. If you are a returning subscriber, I also want to say thank you for coming back to watch another video. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I just want to say thank you. And if you have not yet subscribed, I hope that you do subscribe to my channel. I do a ton of fun decorating videos here and I just hope to have you keep coming back. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button right now. Whatever the cost, we'll make it through. Tell me you're the one, you're the one for me now. Cause what am I supposed to do? If you are not the one, not the one for me, then tell me now. So if you follow me over on Instagram, you will have probably already seen the story where I talked about when I purchased these um, floral stems. I originally wanted to make something to go above my bed and that's what I did have in my mind but once I had this all put together I was kind of looking over at this space above my stove and I thought it would look perfect right here and I love it it adds just a little pop of life over here and I just think it looks really pretty I might end up making something else for my bedroom but for now this is gonna go right here and I love it I have been on the hunt for a neutral colored rug and luckily I found one at Home Goods. I think it matches perfectly in here with the grays and the creams 
and it just adds a little bit of warmth over here on the floor so I love this rug I love the little tassels on the ends I just think it looks so pretty and if you are looking for a rug for your home the large area rugs the runners all of it they have so much at home goods right now so check out your home goods if you are in search for a rug now I'm just gonna get my diffuser going and I will be adding a few drops of lavender to this and then I'm also going to light this candle that I picked up at Target the other day it is a lemon and sage scented candle and they both smell so good together if you are not the one not the one for me then tell me now what I could do If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper. Now that the kitchen is all finished, I'm going to head on into the family room. And I had this wreath up here, and it originally was meant to be more of a winter type decor with the lamb's ear in here. So I'm gonna take this wreath down and take the lamb's ear out and I'm going to add a little bit of floral pieces in here just to add a little pop of life that says spring very subtly. I know I will get probably a few questions about this sofa because I am sharing it and every time I share this beautiful sofa I do get questions where I purchased it where I got it um, all that stuff so if you are new and you don't really know the history behind this sofa I'm just gonna quickly share that with you right now so this sofa originally belonged to Amelia Earhart and my aunt and uncle did find it at an auction and they ended up giving it to me so that is the history behind it and I love it it is beautiful and I will cherish it as long as I live I'm still up in the air on how I want to decorate this mantle. I am not sure what I want to do over here just yet. We do have a kitten or this cat is getting large and he loves to jump up here and play with everything and anything that I do have sitting up here. So I'm going to keep it pretty minimal. 
Um, that is a good thing because I don't want to overcrowd this beautiful mantle anyways. But for now, I'm just going to keep this nice and bare and really pretty and simple. And eventually I will decorate this beautifully like I do every spring. I'm just not sure how I want to do that just yet. Now I'm going to take you into the master bedroom and I wanted to switch out my bedding in here. I always keep it very, very white and just plain up here. And I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to add some color. So I will be switching out my duvet cover. I absolutely love this duvet cover. It is the Simply Shabby Chic brand, and they used to sell this brand at Target. Unfortunately, it's been discontinued. You can only find these on eBay, or um, I think you can actually find it on the Shabby Chic website, but they are extremely expensive now. And it's just a shame that Target discontinued them. I don't know what the reason was or whatever, but I have a few sets in my linen closet. I love this one. This one is definitely one of my favorites and it was sitting in there for quite some time. So I did have to iron it and that's something that I have never done before. And it was actually very relaxing to sit and iron the duvet cover and the shams but I still feel like I did not get all of the wrinkles out. But I am curious to know if any of you out there iron your linens before you place them on your bed. I didn't want to add too much in here because I do like to keep it very simple in the bedroom. So I did end up going to the store and buying some fresh cut flowers to place on the nightstand. And I felt like it definitely completed the look that I was going for in here. And boy, does it look so pretty. I am not used to seeing color here on my bed but I am loving it. I think the floral pattern looks absolutely gorgeous. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope it gave you some decorating ideas and some inspiration. I truly appreciate you here. And if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am gonna show you how I made this Dollar Tree DIY. I also have a mini shopping haul to share with you and then I'm going to be making some really tiny changes here in my kitchen. I am adding some pieces of blue and I can't wait to share all of this stuff with you in today's video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it.
Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to make this super adorable DIY decorative plate using some Dollar Tree plates. I picked those up the other day along with some decorative napkins that I found at Home Goods, and then I'm going to use this Mod Podge and some gold paint for the edging. And I will leave links for the plates and the Mod Podge down in my description box. You can pick up the paint at any craft store and I do believe that the Mod Podge is sold at Walmart as well as the paint if you can't find a craft store. And then I'm just using a sponge brush to brush the back side of this plate and get it fully coated. I don't want to add too much of a thick coat but just spread it really evenly and then I'm going to take the napkin and the napkin comes in two layers so you're going to want to peel that back layer off and this is what I'm showing you here. You just take the corner and then you just peel that back layer off and then you're going to want to face it print side down onto the plate so it shows through on the opposite side and then just gently press it all the way in getting rid of any of those um, wrinkles and then you're going to let this dry for about an hour and then do another coat of the Mod Podge and this napkin wasn't large enough so I'm just taking tiny pieces and filling those spots in. Okay you guys, so this has been sitting for about an hour and it is dry to the touch so I'm going to go ahead and add another layer. So you're going to want that first layer on the plate and then give it time to dry and then you're going to add a second layer on the top which is what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to add another really thin layer to give it a really good seal. If your plate is not dry within an hour or so, you can probably let this sit overnight just to be on the safe side because if it is still wet, that napkin will pull away from the plate when you're adding that back layer. Okay, I just want to quickly show you a few things that I picked up at Home Goods, and I have been loving this blue color. And I found all these matching pieces for in your kitchen, and I found this super cute apron, and I just thought it was so, 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 so pretty. And then um, this was $12.99. And then I found this set. It came with an oven mitt, a pot holder, and two tea towels. I thought it was so pretty. And then over here, I just got some more of those tea towels. And each set came with three, and I got two of those. So I have some extra tea towels. And then I also got another sink suction caddy. And I thought this one would match a little bit better. Than the one that I had because this color matches my faucet and then I got some scrub brushes okay, and then these um, sets of tea towels were $7.99 a piece and this was $12.99 so $12.99 $12.99 and $7.99 so I'm gonna get these tea towels thrown in the washer so I can set them up in my kitchen and then I'm going to put the oven mitt and pot holder away and then I'm going to hang up my apron.
wanted to do something a little more on the pretty side for the container that I'm going to place this brush in and I decided to go with some pieces that I have already had and I did find both of those pieces at an antique store many years ago and I thought it would look so pretty with that milk glass and then a blue and white teacup and then I did find that hand soap at home goods as well I want to quickly show you a few things that I picked up today. I was at the thrift store and I found this mirror for only $2.99. If you follow me over on Instagram, you have will have already seen all this. But if you don't, I want to show you guys here as well. So I found that mirror for $2.99 and then at the Goodwill I found this bowl. It was $14.99. Unfortunately, it didn't have the picture to go along with it, but I thought it was so pretty. And then I found this creamer and a sugar set. Unfortunately, the top was missing, but I still think I can incorporate these pieces into my decor really beautifully. I love the cream color, and both of those were only $1.99 a piece. And then I found these mugs, and I loved these copper mugs. I don't know where I'm gonna place these just yet, but I know I can add them to my decor and um, I just thought that they were so pretty. Those were $3.99 a piece. And then I found this end table. This was also $2.99. I'm going to paint the mirror and the end table and I think I'm going to throw that into a video to show you how I do that. And then I also found this milk glass bowl. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. And I can't wait to show you what I do with this a little bit later on in the video. It was $22.99, which I don't think was that bad because it was milk glass. And then I was going into the thrift store looking specifically for blue and white plates. And I found these and I loved them. I thought they were so pretty. I wish that I found four, but there were only two and I did grab those. Okay, so now that that second layer is all nice and dry, I'm going to go ahead and add my gold paint. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of paint to a plate here and then take my smaller brush and then just lightly brush the very edge just to add more of a finished look. A gold leaf would also look really pretty. Um, I've never worked with gold leafing before, but I'm pretty sure it's fairly easy to do and I have seen several videos of people using that and it just looks really pretty and that is another option if you don't want to paint the edge okay so now that my tea towels are all nice and cleaned up and dry I'm going to add them to my drawer and I always add my hand towels or my kitchen towels in this little drawer here in my island and I like to fold them a few times and then roll them up and they just fit really neatly in here and you can add a lot more and you're not like shoving it full and it getting a mess so I've always done it this way and I love it I wish I was a little more organized with the rest of my drawers around the house but that is how I keep my hand towels in my kitchen Okay, if you've been with me for a while, you know how much I love to decorate my formal dining room table 
I have always loved decorating this table throughout the seasons and I'm going to show you how I add some subtle pops of blue in here with my neutral decor. This is the next day so I am wearing something different but I just wanted to show you how I do this and then I'm going to show you a little arrangement that I made to go as my centerpiece and I did find these plates at Michael's years ago. I've had several of you ask for a link and unfortunately Michael's does not have a link and they no longer sell them but I did find them on Amazon so I will leave that linked in my description box if you are interested. And this is that piece that I picked up at the thrift store. It's like a milk glass bowl. And I'm gonna turn this into an arrangement. I would have loved to have fresh flowers for this, but I didn't, so I'm going to use what I already had around the house. And normally I would use floral tape, but I didn't have any of that on hand either. So I'm just gonna use some regular tape here, and I'm just making a grid. And this makes making an arrangement so much easier. You can also use some floral foam to keep all of your stems in place so they're not falling over, but this really does make it easier when you're placing um, flowers in a vase or a bowl or whatever you're doing. It just keeps them in place so they're not moving around constantly and you don't have to use a floral piece of foam. So I'm just adding some white hydrangeas that I have had. I do believe I picked those up at Hobby Lobby and then I have these really pretty pale blue colored flowers and I did find those at the Dollar Tree. I think I got those last year. I wanted to give this tablescape a little bit of a summer feel so I added some sand and some seashells to these apothecary jars and I love how everything comes together. I love the little tiny pops of blue and I love how those decorative plates came out. I have really been loving all of the blue colors and I am so happy that I added some small touches of blue here in the formal dining room and it still has a light and airy feel with the neutral colors that are in the seashells and that table runner and the placemats and I do have the placemats and that top plate linked down in my description box if you are interested. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I decorated with these plates. I am going to switch out these shelves that I have here in my kitchen and I love decorating these shelves and right now I had a few teacups and some other pieces of china on here, but I wanted to make this all either whites and blue or whites, so I thought I would add a plate down here on the first shelf and then one on the top. And then for the white color, I'm gonna use some milk glass faces that I have had. And I have found all of my milk glass at garage sales and thrift stores and some at antique shops. And since I have been bringing more of my china and my milk glass and antique items out to decorate with, I am really wanting to go 
antique shopping. So if that is a video that you want to see, let me know down in the comments. I would love to do like a little shop with me at an antique store or something like that. I think that would be a really fun video. So let me know down in the comments if you would like to see something like that. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope that it gave you some decorating inspiration. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below just to say hi. If you are new, I want to say welcome. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Also, make sure that you hit that subscribe button before you click out. I would love to have you here if you have not yet subscribed. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.